here we have another watch review. Um, as ever, another G-Shock. So, it is a GA11000 1A3CR. That might not mean a lot to some of you. It doesn't really mean a lot to me. But look at the size of that. That's a huge manual. Oh, let's pop this open. Pull this out. Let's see what we're playing with. So, there you have it. GA11000 1A3. So, you've got the one for the black and the three for the green accents. What do you think of that? Pretty cool. You've got some cool features on these watches. Um, and in all honesty, I'm not really sure exactly what they do. Um, but, you know, if you want to find out, maybe you should uh, do a bit of Google research. Whatever. Just trying to get that to focus. Oh, struggling. Really struggling. Um, so you've got some really cool green accents. That's what I quite liked about that, about this watch. You've got the little bits of green text. Twin sensor illuminator. Water 20 bar resist. Wheel time. Should have back plate. GA1110. Sorry, GA1100. Hang tag. GA1100 1A3. It's a cool watch. Pretty simple. Um, but I like this series. I like the size of them. They fit really well on the wrist. They're about the same size, really, as a uh, GA110, which is the kind of size I generally like. I have a lot of DW6900s, but I do like the size of these, and you now they're a little bit bigger. That's cool by me, too. Um, so, yeah, that's just a real quick overview of that watch. Hope you liked it. Got a nice light on here as well, which illuminates from the bottom. So it gives a cool, cool light. It's... um. Similar to the light that you get on the uh, J110, but it's brighter, so that's good because you can read a little bit better in the dark, and it's also luminescent as well, so the fingers glow in the dark. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that uh, quick review. If you haven't, please subscribe to me. I've gone over the thousand followers now, pushing on to two. It's really cool to be uh, getting some subscribers, you know, asking me for more videos and asking questions, and I really like to answer questions when I can. Um, obviously, you get some uh, crappy questions asked and. People say you've got fake watches and what a waste of money and whatever, but I don't do it for anybody else, I do it for me. And I post reviews because it's part of the uh, collecting, I enjoy it. So, as I said, please subscribe. Thanks very much. Cheers all.